Welcome to today's video on magnesium treatment in ductile iron. Preparation for magnesium treatment. Verify the bath chemistry is in line with the required chemistry. Check bath sulfur and verify it is below 0.02%. Pre-weight ferrocitical magnesium alloy and covering punching. Pre-weight inoculation. You can see here magnesium alloy and covering punching is pre-weight. Inoculation is also pre-weight. Check both treatment and pouring ladle condition. It must be red hot, clean and free from slag. Check pockets in treatment ladle. They must be clean and free from slag. Ensure twin dish cover is free from slag. Use twin dish cover for sandwich method in magnesium treatment. Hole is in good condition and free from slag. You can see treatment ladle is in red hot condition and pockets are in good condition. You can see here twin dish cover is red hot and hole is in good condition for proper feeding. Ferrosilicon magnesium alloy size and percentage of magnesium is important. Keeping ferrocylical magnesium alloy and inoculation in the closed container or bag away from open air is important to avoid oxidation of alloy. Oxidation of alloy will reduce recovery of alloys. Magnesium content of 5 to 7 percent is normally preferred. This will give you good recovery as it has less violent reaction. You can see here magnesium is kept in closed container to avoid oxidation. Similarly, size of magnesium alloy plays an important role. Size of 5 to 15 or 10 to 20 is normally most popular. With increase in treatment size and tapping temperature, size of magnesium alloy gets increased. Also, these sizes 5 to 15 or 10 to 20 will help you in having dense rhyming of alloy for better magnesium recovery. Use electronic weight balance of magnesium alloy weighment for accurate weighing. You can see here, electronics weighment scale is used for the alloy weighment for getting accurate weighment. Calcium in ferrocylical magnesium alloy helps in reduction of the violence of the treatment by suppressing the reaction. It should be 1 to 1.5 percent to give better result. Similarly, a rare earth that is RE or CE up to 1 to 1.2 percent will help by attacking the unwanted trace element in the metal. Check magnesium alloy visually for slag. Sluggish magnesium alloy will give you less magnesium recovery. Selection of covering punching. Selection of covering punching is important as it is, it will decide the delay of reaction during the magnesium treatment. You have to verify the covering is not too thin or not too thick in size. Thin covering will make treatment faster and will give low recovery of magnesium alloy, whereas thick covering will reduce temperature of metal. It must be dry, non-rusty and free from water and oil. Check chemical composition of covering punching by using spectrometer to confirm it does not contain any chromium. Chromium percentage in ductile iron will give rise to carbides and poor machinability. Magnesium alloy and covering punching specification. Magnesium content in the magnesium alloy should be 5 to 7 percent. Size 5 to 15 or 10 to 20 mm most suitably. Calcium 1.5 percent, rare earth 1 percent minimum. Covering scrap 1 to 1.5 percent of treated metal with low chromium. Sandwich treatment. Ferrosilicon magnesium 0.9 to 1.2 percent, covering punching 1.5 to 2.5 percent, poking properly and use twin dish cover. 
You can see packing of material with tool to ensure packing of dense packing of alloys and covering punching in the treatment ladder to have better magnesium recovery. While pouring the metal into the treatment ladder, make sure metal does not fall directly on alloy. Metal transfer rate from furnace to treatment ladder should be as fast as possible, that is almost 25 kgs per second. You can see here, metal is falling in another pocket opposite to that of uh, where we have kept that magnesium and covering punching. Opposite to that, metal is falling. So uh, treatment will be delayed. Here, one more thing I would like to uh, emphasize on is the lateral design. Lateral design, that is height to diameter ratio should be maintained 2 as to 1 or 3 as to 1 to have good magnesium recovery. Lateral should go for magnesium treatment as soon as you fill up it with magnesium alloy and covering punching. Do not hold filled up treatment ladle for treatment. Ensure there is no liquid metal inside treatment ladle which will start reaction with magnesium immediately reducing the recovery of magnesium alloy. Take metal tapping temperature as per control plan considering the temperature loss. Take ladle in preheated condition to reduce temperature loss. Pre-wet metal while tapping to avoid short pour. Put cerewool cover on ladle to reduce temperature drop during pouring. You can see tapping temperature is been measured before tapping. 100% metal weighment while we are doing treatment. Inoculation practice, primary stage inoculation, furnace to treatment ladle, secondary stage inoculation, treatment ladle to pouring ladle. So primary plus secondary inoculation should be 0.4 to 0.5%. Apart from this, you, you can do stream inoculation and mode inoculation as per your requirement. Do inoculation in the metal stream. It is very important to do it in the metal stream for better nucleation. Pouring practice, pour the metal in five to six minutes to have better inoculation effect and good nodularity. Remove slag from metal at various stages. This is also very important to remove slag at various stages. From furnace, when you tap the metal to treatment ladle. From treatment ladle, when you tap the metal from treatment ladle to pouring ladle. And also from the pouring ladle, you have to remove slag. Pouring controlled with help of timer. You should set a timer. Once, you were, once your treatment gets started, you have to set the timer to control your pouring time. And you should finish your pouring within stipulated time. Pouring practice, uh, take spectro sample at last box of each heat. Take micro coupon on last box to check nodularity. And based on these, you clear your heat. So take final spectro and micro sample on last box to clear the heat. Magnesium is a lighter material and hence tends to float on metal surface. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide, which is nothing but slag or dross. Magnesium reacts with sulfur to form magnesium sulfide. Magnesium sulfide is again nothing but slag or dross. This magnesium sulfide can be a reversible reaction where free sulfur can reduce your magnesium recovery again. So removing slag or dross in magnesium treatment is important. In the Thailand, magnesium sulfide and magnesium oxides are the slags and are in liquid form. So it is very difficult to remove them. Hence, these slagging plays an important role in the process of ductile ion. Inductile iodine is very important to pour metal as fast as possible after the magnesium treatment. Do not hold treated metal. Use twin-dish cover for uh, twin-dish cover or treatment ladle while doing doing the magnesium treatment. Remove slag at each and every stage. Add some inoculation at each and every transfer point or transfer stage. So. 
you can see a final slogan we can make is at every transfer point removes lag at inoculation and with this i finish my presentation on magnesium treatment by sandwich method thank you very much